Today's video is so good. I have 10 Amazon toddler hacks. So hopefully there's some new hacks in here that you guys have never heard of. Um, it's just a lot of awesome products that I find so helpful with toddler life. Um, and a few of these things are kind of, I guess, Montessori style where you can kind of teach your child um, independence. So I feel like they're really helpful and really cool. So if you guys end up enjoying today's video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and let's start with the Amazon product. First things first, I'm not going in any particular order, but I feel like sunscreen is something so important since it's basically summer and we are having some really hot days. The sun is so bright. Um, and this I saw somewhere and I was like, oh my gosh, it's genius. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, if you don't know how to apply or you know how to apply sunscreen, but if your toddler doesn't really like you applying their sunscreen, sunscreen on their face, um, I feel like this is a really cool way to apply sunscreen with a brush and a sunscreen, something so simple that not everyone thinks of. Um, so I do this with Meadow and she thinks it's kind of funny, like as opposed to using my hands, um, I'll use this little makeup brush and then the sunscreen and I could apply sunscreen on her face. Or this is also another genius product. Um, this is the also the Think Baby body and face sunscreen, but it's a bomb. So. Literally, it's kind of like, I guess, looks like a little tiny mini deodorant. You just apply it to their face. And she does really well with both of these. Um, whereas when I would just try to apply it with my hands on its own, she wouldn't really stay still. So for some reason, using a makeup brush or the balm, she stays still. Super essential in summer. I'll link both of these. And I love the sunscreen as well. It has none of the toxic stuff and all that. So love these, I will link them below. Okay. Let's move on to another super cool hack that I found recently that I had never heard of. I'd never seen, I didn't even know this existed, but if you have a girl with longer hair or even I know there's boys with longer hair um, and you put little rubber bands, where's my rubber bands? Let me show. I put these in Meadow's hair every single day. I do two little ponytails on her. That's just my favorite hairstyle for her. Um, so I put these in her hair every day and I actually do her hair twice a day. I do it in the morning, first thing when she wakes up and then I do it after her nap since it gets so messy during her nap. Um, so what I used to do actually is when I would take the rubber band off, I would literally slowly, the same way you put the rubber band on is the same way I would take it off. This tool, you guys, me and Weston call it the hook. <laughs> it looks like a little hook. It has this little blade here and basically you just kind of stick it in, pull, and then it cuts the rubber band. And obviously there's so many rubber bands in here that I don't mind throwing these rubber bands out every twice a day. So. That's what we do, works amazing. The, the only reason I have this is because it comes in a pack, what I bought from Amazon. It comes with this, this, it comes with the rubber bands and a few other things. Um, and it comes with two of these, so we keep one upstairs, we keep this one downstairs. Love, it's been a game changer. Okay, next Amazon hack is this little guy right here. So it's a double-sided toothbrush. It has this little plate here so that they don't gag. Um, but when I first saw this, my sister actually told me about it and she said that it was a game changer. I didn't think it would be that helpful or like, I don't know, I didn't think it was anything that crazy, but when I tried it, when we got it, I was like, oh my gosh, this really does make brushing their teeth so much easier because my daughter, Meadow, she does not like brushing her teeth. She lets us do it, but it's always kind of a battle. It's always like we have to prepare her and tell her a bunch of times um, because she just won't keep her mouth open too long. But this right here, even if she kind of closes it, we're still able to get basically the top and bottom teeth at the same time. Um, which makes things just so much easier. So yeah, it's just a great toothbrush. If you've never seen it or ever heard of it, I'm telling you, it's amazing. So I will link this one down below. Okay, next up, uh, we have something super unique and different that I've never seen anywhere. I was actually on Amazon one night and I was looking for circles and I came across these because Meadow's at the age where she stands in a certain spot when we tell her to. She kind of thinks it's like a fun game. So these work not only as a game, but just like teaching her certain colors, teaching her to stand in a certain place. Um, you can play games with this. Um, there's just so many different ways you can use these. She also just likes circles in general. Like when we're out on walks, like she stands over the little like gutter circle pieces and she'll jump on them. So that's why I knew these would be a big hit. All right, you're gonna stand on the pink one. I want you to stand on the pink circle. Okay, wait right there. Wait right there. Okay, stand right there. Okay, go stand on the green one. Good job. <laughs> Go stand on the pink one. Stand on the pink one. Good job. Okay, 
Okay, stay on the green one. Meta, go back in the green circle and stay right there. Daddy's gonna go get you something, okay? You need to wait. Something. Wait right there on the okay, green one. Wait right there. Don't Please move. Stay. Daddy's gonna go get you something. Um, but basically the way we use them, like I said, is I have her like stand on the circle if I'm gonna put her sunscreen on or stand on the circle. I don't know, for so many different things, like it's just kind of like a fun way for her to listen and to think that it's something fun. Um, we're also trying to teach her her colors. They're just amazing. They're great quality. They're wood. Um, you can put them outside, inside, play different games. Like they're just, they're really neat, I'm telling you. Next, something else to teach them independence as well that I've seen a lot of people talk about, especially if you follow a lot of those Montessori accounts, but these are, this one's wet. <laughs> These are um, kind of like a toddler knife set and it teaches them to kind of be in the kitchen, help you cook, help you cut. Um, I give this one to Meadow. It is a little sharp, but I mean, I guess if she's smacking down really hard, she kind of could cut your fingers. So you do have to be careful and you can teach them those things. I tell her to be careful. I tell her it's sharp. She knows it's sharp, um, but she'll cut like bananas, avocado, softer fruits. It's sharp. Yeah, it's sharp. Okay, go ahead and cut it. Yeah, you gotta cut it. It's sharp. Yeah, it's sharp. Yeah, you gotta be careful because it's sharp, huh? And it's just a fun way for her to be in the kitchen, feel involved, and help them feel independent. This one is a little softer. It comes as a set, so I will link it below. And okay, it also next is something to help all of us moms with toddlers. Um, this is the Miss Mouse Messy Eater Stain Treater. So. If you have a toddler, obviously they get their clothes so dirty. I used to think that Meadow was pretty clean compared to other kids I've seen. Um, and she still is more on the cleaner side, but I'm telling the way she eats, all the fruit she eats, the berries, everything, like she gets her clothes so stained. Um, but basically the best way to use this is as soon as she finishes eating something, say she gets strawberries all over it, I spray this all over the stain and then you throw it in the wash but there has been many times where I don't do it immediately. I throw it in the wash and I still use this after and it still doesn't fully get the stain out, but it gets very close. Um, so I do absolutely love it. I've tried a few other ones and I've other ones I've had pretty good success with, but this one for some reason is just my favorite. I love it. I will link it below. Um, it takes out the stain. So next I have this collapsible snack cup. I've been using this since she was a tiny baby since she was like 11 months and started eating snacks on her own. Um, this one in particular actually has this little like hook area and it has a little carry strap, which I like for her because again, she'll carry it around. She'll think she's pretty independent carrying her own snack cup around. But even the ones without it that I've used in the past, I absolutely love. I just like that you can stick this in your purse. You can stick it in a diaper bag. Um, you could stick it anywhere and then whenever you get to wherever you need, you can uncollapse it. Is that a word? <laughs> you can open it up and put your snacks in there. Next, I have this guy that I feel a little gross touching. So if you see me being kind of gross, it's just because I get kind of grossed out by this, but it is a diaper changing pad slash little bag. Um, I never take a diaper bag anywhere unless we're going on a long trip, unless we're going somewhere to like Disney, unless I know I'm gonna be gone all day. Um, that's really the only way you'll find me with a diaper bag. Otherwise, Meadow's at the age, or my toddler's at the age where we just don't need constant diaper changes. We, I don't know, I, I just, I don't find a need for a diaper bag. I always see like other moms with diaper bags and I'm like, what do you need in there? I guess you just wanna be fully prepared, but this is what I do. I have this in my trunk at all times. So if we are gonna go shopping or go to the park or anywhere, this is in my trunk and I don't need to carry a diaper bag with me. This has the diapers, it has um, wipes, and then the way it works is obviously it has, okay, it has these pockets where you can put whatever you want. And then this part down here is actually the changing pad. Um, and this one I find really easy to clean. It's kind of like, almost like a rain jacket material. I don't know what you call it. It's like, it's just an actual plastic, but I've had other materials that, I don't know, that are not as easy to wipe. So this is super easy to wipe clean, has a little bit of a cushion on the headrest and it just works perfectly. So a lot of times I'll change her in our trunk. Like I said, I just don't need a diaper bag when I have this in my trunk at all times. I know it's got what I need. Um, you can also like have your diaper rash cream, everything. A lot of stuff fits in here. So 
Love this. Um, I wanted to mention that because I feel like a lot of people are always still carrying their diaper bags around and I'm like, what do you need in there? <laughs> um, okay, and also with that, I did also want to share this bag right here. This is my everyday mom bag. Um, also, another reason I don't carry the diaper bag is because this is always on me. I have um, more wipes in here. It fits a lot of stuff and I feel like it still looks pretty stylish and actually funny enough when I've been out and about I've had a few people ask me where I got this and saying that they like it <laughs> I like that it has zippers I had another one from Target that I used for a while oh and I didn't even mention it's a front carrying bag so it makes things really easy when my hands are full if I'm carrying her I can open this zipper where I keep all my cards and everything I could take things out quickly everything is zippered or zipped zippered there's zippers for everything and the target bag that I had before that was also like a front facing bag um, it had a button and when I bend over I actually had a lot of my cards fall out a few times which is why I need I knew I needed something new something safer where everything stays inside the bag so yeah just wanted to mention that I feel like this is the longest explanation of a freaking bag but when you're a mom and you need something functional um, this is perfect night again it still looks pretty trendy and cute so I will link this one below oh and it's amazing quality like it's just it, it's amazing quality and it was affordable so okay I almost forgot to mention this this is a learning tower and I feel like almost everyone has heard of these um, but I'm telling you, this is probably our most used out of everything, actually. Um, Meadow climbs up here every single day. She'll eat up here. Like you guys can see, she has her smoothie up here. Um, she'll drink her water up here. She will help me with smoothies up here. She does everything and anything up here and she does it happily and she feels independent and she climbs in and out. Like there's just so many amazing benefits to having this. This is like an absolute, absolute must have. I also want to mention this really easy and quick cleaning hack. So I know this says Everspring. Don't mind that. I actually, I have a bottle on the way that I will link below. It's a spray bottle that's essential that I've been meaning to get. And then when I knew I was filming this, I was like, I finally need to invest in a good bottle. But for now, I've been putting it in here <laughs> for the past like month. Basically, all this is is two parts water, one part vinegar, and then tea tree oil. And it's all supposed to be a, like a natural disinfectant and cleaning product. We clean our counters with it. Um, anything she meadow gets dirty, we clean with it. Like it's just a really good cleaning product and it's safe and natural and it doesn't have any of that toxic chemicals. And so if you make your own at home, like you're saving so much money, it's so easy. It works amazing, super effective. Um, and it smells clean. I like the smell of the tea tree oil. So I love it. We clean with it every single night. Yeah. That's gonna bring me to the end of this video. How long? Oh my gosh. <sighs> I'm gonna have to cut this down to under 15 minutes, hopefully. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. If you guys have any hacks, put them in the comments down below so other people can see them and so that even I can see them. Like I'm always trying to find ways to simplify my life and make things easier. So let me know in the comments below. Um, follow me on Instagram. That's where I post every single day. Uh, subscribe. That's it. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.